Hello children. In this video we are going to learn class 10 exercise sorry class 10 coordinate geometry exercise 7.1 third and the fourth sum. First we will see the third sum. Determine if the points 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 and minus 2 comma minus 11 are collinear. First you understand what is the meaning of collinear means all these three points should be in the same line or not we have to identify here. So for that we should do you have to take these points as a first point you take as a point A I will take 1 5 and second point B 2 comma 3 and third point C minus 2 comma minus 3 minus 11. Now you find the distance between A and B first means you have to find the AB length of AB for that formula you know already square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here a you take as a x1 y1 b point you take as a x2 y2 substitute and simplify it x2 is 2 x1 is minus 1 whole square plus y2 is 3 minus 5 y2 is 3 y1 is 5 now 2 minus 1 is 1 square plus 3 minus 5 is minus 2 square now 1 square is 1 only plus minus 2 square is minus into minus will become plus it will become plus 4 so answer we will get as root 5 now I will find BC B I will take as a 1 point B 2 comma 3 and distance between the BC or length of BC I will find now minus 2 comma minus 11 this you take as a x1 y1 x2 y2 so bc is equal to square root of same formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now substitute those values x2 is minus 2 the formula minus is there x1 is 2 whole square plus y2 is minus 11 minus y1 is 3 whole square now minus 2 minus 2 both you have both the numbers are having minus so you should add the numbers so minus 4 square plus minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14 square so minus 4 square is ma minus into minus will become plus 16 plus 14 square is 196 add this to 196 plus 16 you are going to get as 6 plus 6 12 1 carry 1 carry 2 going to get root 2 12 then I will find here and I will find out you find the A and first I found the length of AB and BC then AB I will sorry AC I will find now so A you take as a 1 sorry 1 no it is 1 5 this is 1 and uh, C you take as a minus 2 minus 11 this you take as x1 y1 x2 y2 now ac i will find out now same formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square x2 is minus 2 minus 1 whole square plus y2 y2 is minus 11 minus 5 y1 
whole square. Now minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 square plus minus 11 minus 5 is minus 16 whole square. Now you are going to get answer as minus 3 square is 9 plus 16 square is 256. So 256 plus 9. 6 plus 9 is 15 when carry 6 to 56. Sorry, 265. Now you just observe here 5 and 212. If you add these two, 212 plus 5, just I'll add here. 212 plus 5. If you add means you are going to get 7, 1. 217 you will, you will not get 265 there so here we can write this as a b means collinear means all the three points should be in the same line like this here which is smaller number this is a smaller and this is this 265 is a bigger number so i can take uh, a b c like this if i am taking a c is equal to a b plus b c should come then only these three points are collinear we can say means all the three points are in the same line we can say but here a b plus a b plus b c is not equal to c a b a b plus b c a b since you should write there since a b plus b c is not equal to a c therefore what they are asking there determine the points are collinear therefore points are points are not collinear you should write it if you get a b plus b c equal to a c means you can say points are collinear that's it this is the answer for this now we'll see the fourth sum fourth sum what they have given check whether 5 minus 2 6 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 2 are the vertices of isosceles triangle you know isosceles triangle means Two sides of the triangle will be equal there. These are the vertices of the triangle we have to take first. Just I will draw one triangle here and I will take them as a, a B C. A I will take as a 5 comma minus 2. B I will take as a 6 comma minus 4. Sorry 6 comma 4. And C I will take as a 7 comma minus 2. Okay. Now I will find A B. B, C and A, C. In that any two sides equal if you get we can say these are the vertices of a triangle. Sorry vertices of a isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means any two sides should be equal in the triangle. First I will find A, B. So for that A I will take A. You know the coordinate points of A are 5 comma minus 2. So this is X1, Y1. B I will take as a X2. Sorry. B vertices Coordinate points are 6 comma 4. This is I will take as x2 y2. I will find a b first. a b is equal to square root of same formula. Means you have to find length or distance. Both also same here. x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Is that enough? x2. 6 x1 is minus 5 whole square plus y2 is 4 minus here you see y1 is minus 2 is so inside the bracket you write then whole bracket you write whole square now 6 minus 5 is 1 square plus 4 minus into minus will become plus 2 whole square now you are going to get answer as 1 1 square is 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 6 square. So 1 plus 6 square is 36. So it is square root of 37. Now I will find BC. BC if you want to find same formula I will write it. X2 minus X1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square you should write that first b is i'll write here only b you take as a 6 4 means this is 
x1 y1 so you take as a 7 comma minus 2 x2 y2 i'll write that before only would have write it here please okay x2 is 7 minus x1 is 6 whole square plus y2 is minus 2 minus 4 whole square so you are going to get 7 minus 6 is 1 square plus minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 square so you are going to get 1 plus 36 so here also you are going to get 36 see here this also you got 1 plus 36 equal to root 36 here two sides are equal we got it and uh, still i will find the third side also because already we got to know that uh, here ab is equal to bc because these two sides root 37 root 37 sorry root 37 we got it and we can say ab equal to bc therefore the given uh, given points are the vertices of isosceles triangle we can say but sometimes uh, you will find ab you will find and ac you will find you will not get that point that time you should find bc also so better you find third side also here what you are going to get just you see it is isosceles and one more or equilateral triangle also you can find out equilateral triangle means all the sides will be equal there just i will find that uh, ac also a you take as a 5 comma minus 2 and the c is 7 comma minus 2 this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so ac square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now x2 is 7 minus 5 whole square plus y2 minus 2 minus y1 is minus 2 again whole square now 7 minus 7 minus 5 x2 is 7 x1 is 5 7 minus 5 minus 2 ok this will come 2 plus minus 2 minus into minus will become plus here plus 2 whole square so it will become square root of 2 plus this one minus 2 plus 2 will get cancelled means minus 2 plus 2 will become 0 so it will come 2 square so answer you are going to get as a 4 so answer you are going to get as 2 so here uh, this is not equal to these two things so you can write therefore a b equal to b c means any two sides of a triangle are equal here therefore five comma minus two six comma ma four and seven comma minus two are the vertices of are the vertices of isosceles triangle because we got any two sets of a triangle are equal this is a fourth sum of this exercise in the next video we are going to learn the next sums of this exercise if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you